Well guys, it's official. Another build begins. Let's just say a legend came to town. I know, it's kind of cheesy to call it a legend, but you know what? There is only one JF-1000, but there is, wait a minute, is there only one? That's right, there is only one JF-1000 4.0, and there she is, boys. There she is. Oh yes, this ain't your ride, this is Nacho's ride. Yeah, yeah, check that out. It has a red frame. Can you believe that? It's got a red frame. There's color at JF logging. I know, Jed was okay with it, Chester's okay with it, and you know what my favorite color is? That's right, it's red. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'd like to say I had a part of it, but I really had nothing to do with it, so all I did was hit the button. But check it out, check it out. Oh, we've got a tail frame on it, we've got a pintle hitch from factory. You know, that's an option I don't normally do, but, uh, but it is a great option to do. Um, this isn't actually my favorite hitch, but that's for another vlog. But check it out. Stainless fenders. We got the Bridgestone L320s. We've got the 69,000 pound new way. Gosh, I just absolutely love a red frame. And you know what I love about a red frame? Look at how bright it is. If you want to work on anything, like it is absolutely fantastic. And all you guys that are saying that I'm saying that because I'm a salesman, well, I'm not. I'm saying it because back in the 80s, when we had trucks, our colors were silver and red. And you know what? They all had red frames. I love a red frame. Kenny's getting a red frame. And I love that Chester and Jed picked a red frame. Check out this def tank. Oh, I love it. We've got room for a cab guard. We've got oh yeah yeah check that out we've got batteries underneath the driver's door that's right no more fuel tank for nacho to step over now he's got a nice little step now i'm curious i'm wondering if he's going to put a stainless cover is he going to put his name here is jf going to be on here instead of up there i don't know i can't wait to see what they do but it looks absolutely amazing old school stack shields old school painted 15 inch air breathers with the old school caps and you know what's awesome we can look underneath we can look at the underneath of jf 1000 we've got the big front end we've got some big beefy 445 front tires that's right the big michelins the xzls we've got ourselves the biggest baddest horsepower in the world well actually that's Technically not true, but it's a Cummins with lots of power. So biggest and baddest is probably like some 14 million horsepower ship engine. But anyways, off topic, but check it out. 18 speed. And you know what? This is the beautiful thing. When you order a 389 long hood, you get true dual exhaust. There's your DPF. There's your exhaust. It comes out, wise off. And look at that. It goes to both pipes. Huh, who'd have thunk it? Two exhaust pipes at work? I know, what a novel idea. It's kind of great, really. Um, and that's why, you know what? A 389, you just can't beat it. You just can't beat it. <sighs> Painted air tanks, look at all of this. Just absolutely fantastic. There's your uh, body connections tucked up under there. There's some kind of computery thing. Um, I don't know. That's that's my technical term, computery thing. Air tank behind the battery box. Um, oh, this is the airlines that they're using for when they piggyback them. We've got the Big Meritor drive line, and uh, yeah, what a great opportunity to crawl underneath and check out the belly of JF 1000 4.0. Um, now this is interesting how the new depth tanks, they've got the pump on the back. Um, now, this is something that we've taken a look at and in Prince George, we've, we're actually building a guard for this. We haven't had any issues yet, but if there are issues, we're gonna be ready. Um, this is actually great because this air tank protects it. It's got this little guard on here, which is fine, but you know what? When you get a big rock, hit one of these, eh, might not be enough, so. Anyways, we're looking at that as an option. So 
just trying to be proactive because like I've told you in other videos, we're not about just resetting your check engine light. We're about making it so you don't have a check engine light. We don't want our customers to have a rock come up, hit this plastic fitting, and we know what's gonna happen. It's happened in the past. Hits the fitting, breaks the fitting, and then you're down with a D-ray. We don't want that. We want you to go to work, pull all your trips, come see us after hours, or you know, if you have a day off, bring it to us during the day and, uh, and just do the tinky winky warranty work or repair work that you need. But we don't wanna see it broke down on the side of the road or having the frustration of a rock hitting that. So anyways, that is the backside of the new DEF tank. And you know what's great is the way it's shaped, it packs a ton more DEF. That's right, more DEF, smaller package, means you don't have to fill it up as much. And you know what, I always thought that that's the biggest pain in the butt with DEF is having to fill it up. You know, when it runs right, works good. In the shop, doesn't make a big stink or whatever, you can breathe it. Well, you, I mean, breathing DEF is not good, but um, but yeah, biggest pain in the butt is have to fill that crap up. So anyways, guys, let's come look at the other side. Ugh, old man noises, look at that got air conditioning in the sleeper and heater we've got some wiring for some chicken lights because oh yes jf 1000 wouldn't be a jf 1000 without some chicken lights how many you ask well that remains to be seen because this is a working project i mean there's some things that are already pre-planned and there's some things that you know what you gotta see it you gotta touch it you gotta you gotta do a little r d you know you gotta you gotta feel it, you gotta caress it, you gotta see what its personality is gonna be, so. And it sounds kinda cheesy, but it's true. Um, got the depth tank, and you know what? That's the only downside is your DPF. I, I know I said depth tank, but I meant to say DPF. Yeah, English is a tough language, let me tell you. So, you got your DPF. Now this DPF box is a lot longer, which creates issues when you're trying to put the straight pipes up. So what we'll probably maybe do, depending on what Chester wants to do, is we can move this up. We've done it before um, and take that panel off, move your, um, did I say we? I know I don't do it. Actually, it's the body shop that does it because I can't do squat. But, um, well, it's not that I can't do squat. It's just that I'm the sales. Anyways, we won't go there. Um, so yeah, you take your DPF, move it forward, and then that way you have room because that sucker takes up a lot of room, but the nice thing is now it's got the sections. So you guys can see how it's got the different sections for your, uh, um, oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart for uh, the different sections of your DPF. But yeah, so we'll move it forward so we can get our straight pipes on. So a straight pipe and go boop, straight down like that. But uh, and look at that. <laughs> I think we might need some vendor flares. I think we might need some vendor flares on this big guy. We got some 445 XNL Michelins. Yeah, yeah. Freaking badass, I got to tell you. I don't know if I could say ass, but I don't know. Maybe I'm referring to a donkey. Actually, it wouldn't be a donkey then. It'd be a jackass. But you know, you got a jackass or you got a donkey. But anyways, that's what I'm referring to. But look at that. Just an absolute beast. Can you say beast mode? I will. Beast mode. I absolutely love it. You know what? I think after this, I think Jed might have to change the Black Army logo. Because you know what? When you see the front end of JF1000 4.0, it's gonna blow people's minds. They're gonna say, you know what? Your logo's outdated. Jed, you need a new logo. JF1000 4.0 came to town and she's taken over. But um, anyways, I got another, another uh, 367 high hood. You know what's ironic? 367 high hood with four and a quarter front tires. It doesn't even look as big as JF1000. Absolutely unbelievable. It's uh, it's fantastic. Um, you know, <laughs> the cool thing is, is these are big tires and this is a big truck. But when you look at 1000 with a 389 hood and the 445s, man, it's like a beast. Big old sexy beast, yeah got the big front spring spacer blocks yeah high hood now this is actually um i know i've said it before but you know what i'll say it again for the new the new subscribers to the channel a 367 high hood grill surround is actually the same size grill as a 389 
The only difference is on a 389, the headlights mount through the side of the grill. So when you want a big rad, when you got big power and you need, need big cooling, I mean, look at this surface. Largest radiator in the industry, I'm sure. I forget what the actual number is. I think it's like 1,650 or something. I don't know, I got a crappy memory, but they call it the vocational heavy haul hood for a reason. It's when you got a heavy haul, you need this hood. And if you like a cool look, you need this hood. That's all. You need a top hood, you need this hood. You need a truck, you need this hood. No, you got sloped hoods too. But um, anyways, just an absolute beautiful truck. Now this is the new large def tank. I've shown it to you before. You've seen it then and again. It's nice because it's skinnier. Um, yeah, skinnier, not as wide, um, takes up less space. The filler neck's been raised a little bit. The def cover's been improved so it's sturdier. It holds more volume because it's got a square back end. This truck has a Meritor rear diffs as well. 69,000 pound new way. The heavy Meritor drive line. It's a 430 ratio. Meritor rear diffs. Got our Alcoa high polished wheels, although they don't look high polished right now. But you know what? I'll tell you exactly how far it is from Denton, Texas to Prince George. Because this fine gentleman just drove in and let me tell you, it's got, I know we're in miles, but we're gonna change it up here. Let's just do, do, do. 3,964 kilometers from Denton, Texas. <laughs> so yeah, normally it's 4,400 kilometers from Denton, Texas. So you know what? He took the short route and I should find out because 39, what did we say? 3950, that's pretty darn good. So anyways, guys, I guess I should end this vlog, but I'm gonna end it looking at JF1000 instead of my face. We'll get her on the ground. We'll undeck her and we'll start putting her together because, oh yes, there is only one king and that's Peterbilt 389. Well, and in the future, it's going to be the 589. Do I know what the 589 is going to look like? No, but when everything's gone, you know what? It's like a stepping stone in history. 359, 379, 389, 589. There's only one king, baby, and that's Peterbilt.